What's going on, MGTOW Nation, Red Pill Nation, Black Pill Nation? This is Renegade Number One, aka the Feminist Killer. Hashtag Logitorian. Right now, there are many of you who are depressed. There are many of you that are down in the slump, you know, crying that a woman has left you, your girlfriend has left you, or whatever. It's time to take a deep breath breathe out and say I'm going to get through this I'm going to get through this now it's time for you to become a new you that old you was passive aggressive that old you was not assertive enough would allow anybody to take advantage of them you're not that guy anymore at least when you watch this video you got to understand that I'm going to go in on some of you guys a little bit stop allowing women to control you Stop allowing them to use their sexual appeal to uh, obviously manipulate you, to put you in situations that you knew if you had a logical state of mind, you wouldn't be in. From here on out, you need to be logical, period. There's no excuses. I feel like we've all been there where we felt like... Uh, we we felt like we were the number one thing to a woman that she would never leave us but guess what she left you who gives a fuck she wasn't supposed to be part of your life no woman's a part of your life period you know um enough taken out there's no there's no more uh being take uh taking her out on dates there's no more of her using you for your money because now you have the mentality of zero tolerance you're not taking shit no more you're done with that you're not being around a bunch of uh, blue pill beta male friends that your so-called friends. I'm just going to go ahead and enlighten you guys on something. A friend is an ally. Those guys that you used to be friends with, they want you to go to the club. They want you to simp. They want you to um, have a woman around because that thinks, they think that validates you as a man. They're not helping you. You understand? They, they make fun of you. They tell you, oh, you can't get a girl. Who cares about those guys? Those... You got to realize this. To be black pilled or red pilled, I'm going to go ahead and say black pilled, your values change. You got to ask yourself this question. I want to still be friends with my guys that I've been friends with for 10 years, 5 years. But I don't understand why there's a gap between me and my friends and myself that's now that I'm MGTOW. I'll I'll tell you this. The reason there's a gap between you and your friend is because your values have changed as a man. You don't value the things that you valued before. You understand that those values weren't actually they weren't actually beneficial to your life. How did, how did they enrich you? They made you they clouded your judgment. And now that you are you you are mentally cleansed of the impurities you understand that you can't relate to those clowns no more. You have no friends. Understand that right now. All of you need to realize that if you if you haven't realized, you have to get rid of your friends. No tolerance for fuckery. No tolerance for blue pill ideas. No tolerance for uh, stupidity. And remember this. You're a fool. You, you are a fool if you continue to stay with the same dumb friends that can continue to make the same decisions you know they're not going to change and it's hard the the number one thing in life that you have to realize is you always have a choice it's called it's two types of choices it's a easy choice and a hard choice everybody wants to make the easy choice they don't they don't ever want to make the hard choice and the hard choice is you got to get rid of those friends you got to understand that life is a revolving door. There's going to be people coming in and going out. Coming in and going out. It's a revolving door. And that sucks. It sucks as a human being, but you got to understand that you are trying to progress. You are trying to elevate your life. You can't elevate your life when you got people trying to go downward. Doing drugs doing drinking that stuff does not help you that only numbs the pain keyword numbs 
But guess what? When that numbing wears off, you still have to deal with that pain. If you want that pain to go away permanently, you need to look at yourself. You need to fix yourself. Okay? Period. So my thing is, as a MGTOW man, there are there's no room for simps. There's no room for, you know, pussy beggars, blue pill friends. There's no room for excuses. Excuses are for weak men. Stop making excuses. I can't do. I can't do. Why do you keep saying that? You can do anything you put your mind to. Period. You just need a little push. You just need a little focus. Like I said, stop saying. This is what you have to understand. As everybody uh, listens. You have to stop saying I'm going. Stop saying I'm going and say I am. I am. Declare it and it will happen. I'm going is another way of procrastinating. Procrastinating. You're pushing it off. I'm going to do this. 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 I need to do this. I am doing this. I am black pilled. I am red pilled. I am a strong man. I am a man who puts up with no woman who does who desires to take you off your path of growth. You are your own man. You are strong. You have to say these words. Stop saying I'm going. I am going to seek knowledge. Keep seeking knowledge. You have to be determined. And so the number one thing is that keeps a man from growing is self-doubt. And self-doubt is um something, oh, I can't, I can't, like I said before, I can't do this. I can't leave women alone. A man who has no control over his sexual desires, that's something I'm going to touch on because a lot of men, I, unfortunately, they can't disconnect from women entirely because of their sexual desires. The thing is, a man who can't control his sexual desires, that's a man who's weak. You are a weak man if you can't control your sexual desires. The thing is, if you can't control your sexual desires, that means you have no power. You're not a powerful person. You got to understand this. As a man, you need to get your power back. Getting your power back by controlling yourself. Once you control your sexual desires, that woman has no control over you no more. You don't need her anymore. If she leaves, you won't even give a fuck. You understand? That's what you got to realize. So, like those clowns that go to the club, those clowns chasing women, putting women on pedestals, agreeing with women in hopes of getting sex, you don't have to do that anymore. You realize that you was an idiot. That was the you prior to watching this video. Now that you've watched this video, whether now, later in time, whoever discovers this video, it's going to, hopefully I change your life with that. Understanding that you're the one with the power. You're choosing to give your power, your desires, you're giving your power to an individual through your desires. You understand? It's kind of like um, me having a block of cheese in the rat being yourself I have control over that rat because that rat will do anything to get that cheese that rat has no soul that rat won't stop to get what it wants until it gets what it wants you understand I see men every fucking day they will throw another male under the bus in hopes of getting pussy in hopes of getting that that nuts that that release right you can do that on your own period so again the goal is for you to take your power back. Any man who tells you you need to be going after women is a fool. Okay? You don't ever need to chase a woman. That is some simp shit. You are not a simp. Kill the simp. You understand? Obviously, the way you thought before didn't help you, so you need to change. Change is not bad. It's just the thing about change is it's uncomfortable. It's never going to be comfortable. And that's good. You're growing. So just take it take it in moderations. If you feel like you need to 
you know, you need to get that nut off. Like I said, get a sex toy. I don't care if you 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 feel like it's it's weird. You need to do it or go on semen retention. Get that energy. When you go to the gym, you can do shit that you never thought you can do before. That's all because of that semen. That semen is not just for impregnation. You understand? It's also an energy source. So you use that stuff, use that energy to channel in other areas of your life. Women are always gonna be there. They're not important. Don't burn yourself out by stressing out over shit in the past. It's not gonna help you. Um, another thing as far as you know, um, you know, dealing with um not making excuses, develop that killer instinct. Become the cheetah. Like I look at when I when you think about animals. I think about when I think about animals I think about the cheetah it has a killer instinct it sees something and it it goes right after it it doesn't waste any time that's how you need to be like a cheetah you don't waste no time you go out you see something you go after it you see a goal go after it don't talk about how I'm going to have it say I am or I I will those are words you need to use stop saying I'm going say I will or I am Declare it. You understand? And it will happen. Um, <clears throat> another thing is, as far as MGTOW channels are concerned, we have a lot of fake MGTOW uh, content creators, a lot of men, a lot of uh, MGTOW creators that all they talk about is pumping and dumping. I'm just going to let you know right now. You're not MGTOW if you're still pumping and dumping. P period. In my book. You understand? You're not MGTOW if most of your shit is just about women dating, women dating, women dating. We know how stupid women are. Who gives a fuck about them? They're going to do what they're going to do regardless. And another thing, they're, most of these MGTOW channels, they're not providing any foresight. They're not preparing you for the future. Are they talking about you going off grid? Are they talking about you saving your money? Are they talking about you know you getting guns? You enhancing your mind? You educating yourself? That's another thing. Education. That's very important. If you feel like your mentality is not changing or you're not growing, there's something wrong with the, the shit that you're watching. You need to unsubscribe from certain MGTOW uh, content creators if all of their if all they're talking about is women 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 bitching and crying and shit you need to unsubscribe from them. we're past that I'm gonna be honest there's there's some guys that are useless as used toilet paper after I wipe my ass then they're not used then they they serve no use to me you know so all that PUA shit what you need to do you know to get a woman that's a waste of time I'm gonna tell you right now you can be a guy with a chiseling chest a nice um, a good look I mean obviously like I said attractive men will always win period we know that but even then women view you as an asset but the reality is women view us as assets we view them as liabilities because that's what they are they're using us for money so they're never gonna change that nature they're always gonna be parasites so Again, we got to focus on us. We got to focus on our future. We got to understand the the outskirts. A woman is like a, a, a crumb. It's a crumb of the knowledge that you need to know. That's why I, I believe in my heart, most MGTOW content creators are still blue pill. They are still not aware. If you think all your shit is supposed to be on women, you're you're still a fool you got to understand the government that lies around you understand that your friends your 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 friends that you're still friends with they're your enemy if they're not with this they're your enemies they're not your allies you know and another thing read reading is important for you to enhance your 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 growth to enhance your knowledge you got to have a thirst for knowledge if you don't have a thirst for knowledge then you're you're content with being a dumbass okay and I don't want to hear nobody say oh it's not cool to read or I don't want to read you know that's some dumb that's some that's some dumb blue pill shit period and 
when it comes to reading, there's different types of reading. You got skimming, you got scamming, uh, scanning, intensive, and extensive. Those are three or uh, four methods of reading. Four methods: um, skimming, scanning, intensive, and extensive. We already know what skimming is. You're just skimming through, going through to see what it's about. Scanning, you're looking for certain words. Intensive, you're reading with detail and intent to understand what you're reading. So basically comprehensive reading. Extensive, you're reading for enjoyment. And the point, the reason I had to break it down like that, to understand that there's, to tell you guys that there's four different types of reading, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that there's different types of reading. That um, if you don't focus on the latter two, the intensive and extensive, you won't sharpen your reading skills. You have to sharpen your reading skills. The most important shit to actually enhance your red pill nature, you gotta read. You gotta read between the lines to understand that you're being lied to. How do you know if you're not being lied to if you don't fucking read? You can't just watch videos. You understand? And so that's why um, after I'm done making this video, I am going to drop a book about uh, understanding that there's actually no government. There's a book called uh, some uh, Superstition or something like that. I'm going to drop the book in the description box. I want you all to take a look at it. Like I said, you don't have to read the whole fucking book in one night. You can if you want to. But ultimately, the reason I go out of my way to do these things is because I want us as men to be actually red pilled we're not really red pilled if we're still talking about women i'm just gonna be honest so i'm just letting y'all know um it's zero tolerance for bullshit zero and another thing um women on migtow channels they have to be deleted they have to be banned get them removed off the channel real quick and i'm going and that's this goes for all of you migtow content creators who watch my shit um, and just in general, zero zero tolerance for women on MGTOW channels. They don't, and I don't give a fuck if a woman says, "Oh, I understand your pain. I understand MGTOW. I love MGTOW." That's some bullshit. That's like a fucking that's like a fucking rat saying, "Oh, I like to be trapped." Nobody likes that. That's that's um that that goes against her motive. You understand that? That go MGTOW goes against the female ulterior motive. That's another thing. Don't always be quick to allow a woman into your zone. This is a no female zone. Stay the fuck off of MGTOW channels. Period. Um, you, like I said, the mentality is ultimately stop being lazy. Stop being submissive. You know, get some nuts about yourself. Stop having a fucking mangina. Change that mangina into some balls and dick. Period. Um, but that's it, man. This is Renegade number one. Like the video. Share. Subscribe. Peace out.